Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be doing a quick little update on the Tarzan Swing or Ceiling Shot tutorial. Um, if you didn't see it, I made that video a few months back. It was actually my most viewed video. Didn't really expect it at the time, but you know, stuff like that happens on YouTube. Um, but yeah, since then, uh, when I did do that tutorial, I was, I was just uh, getting used to the Ceiling Shot, just starting to get it down. Uh, but since then, I've learned a huge tip that makes it much more effective. Uh, way more viable, much quicker, all the above. Um, I'll start it off by showing you guys the normal ceiling shot. Basically, you drive the ball towards the wall, pull away, hit the ball in the air, drive up the ceiling, and then go for your finish. Um, I obviously messed that one up, but uh, I'll show you guys again. Drive the ball towards the wall, roll up, hit it up, drive up, and then hit it in the net. Um, I guess I'll show you guys a third time. Um, the, the main thing you want to focus on is pulling away, getting yourself enough speed to hit that ball pretty high in the air, and then you can go for the finish. That was weird. I hit, hit that with my wheels. Um, but yeah, it's a normal ceiling shot. Quite a few people have that down by now. Um, if you don't have it down, just, uh, just practice it. If you find it tough practicing it on free play, uh, go into a private match and set the mutators to slow-mo for game speed. And, uh, you know, just go on limited boost, and then it's basically like free play, um, but it's slowed down by, you know, a factor of two or something. So it just makes it much easier to practice things. Um, but yeah, anyways, the big tip that I can tell you guys is when you drive the ball towards the wall, you pull away, you hit it, you jump as soon as you hit it, and then follow the ball up. You see that I literally end up right on the ball. I get a perfect, like, triple touch with a flick. Um, that's a very hard uh, shot to stop there. Um, the reason why you do this is because when you hit it like this, hit it in the air, and then drive up, it actually takes much longer for you to get to the ball. Um, and then you like you use a lot of boost, you waste a lot of momentum, and it's just way more efficient to hit the ball, jump right away, follow it up to the ceiling, you save a lot of boost, you're closer to the ball, and you have much more forward momentum, so you can get a much more powerful shot. Um, doing this method, I've scored a lot of ceiling shots. And a lot of nice ones, I have a lot of my replays, like a lot of, uh, you know, triple touches or like air dribbles off of it. Um, like I'll try an air dribble here, or a little one, or a little double touch. Anyways, you see what I mean? That's basically just the big tip that I can give you. Um, anything else is just overkill. Like I, I could say, like, you know, make sure to pull away, you know, make sure to keep the ball off the ceiling. There's a bunch of little tips, but uh, I think you'll figure that out. Um, as you go, as you practice it. Um, but that's the big tip I can give you. Start start building that into your muscle memory, just hitting the ball and jumping as soon as you hit it. Um, it just makes it much more efficient. You get there quicker. Obviously there I stalled a bit on the ceiling, but I still got there in a relatively short time. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna try to get an air dribble here with the finish, bang. Anyways, this was a, uh, you know, just a quick little video, not really doing much, just kind of ranting a bit. Um, but yeah, just make sure you add that to your repertoire when you're doing your ceiling shot. Um, it just, it just makes it better. Yeah, that's all I can really say. Well, anyways, again, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!